For this video, we're going to sketch the graph of the function y equals x to the fourth minus 26x squared plus 25 using, again, um, a table of signs na ginamit natin sa previous video. But this time, I'm going to show you na mi technique para mas mabilis nating makuha yung signs na ilalagay mo sa table of signs. But first, let's factor this out. Now, you can... Try synthetic division ng paulit ulit. You can try 1 or 5 or negative 5. But if you can recognize, pwede siyang ma-factor as x squared minus 25 times x squared minus 1. Tawa. So that's x to the 4th minus x squared minus 20. 5x squared plus 25. So, and this is a uh, difference of 2 squares. So you can fac further factor this as x plus 5 times x minus 5 times x plus 1. So this, I'm, I'm factoring now this. x plus 1 times x minus 1. And this is the complete factorization of our function. So this is now your uh, y. Now we're ready to construct our table of signs. So the zeros are, so the zeros or um, we have negative 5, x plus 5, negative 5. We also have um, negative 1, we have positive 1, and we have positive 5. So this one, positive 5. Okay, now let's now construct our table of signs. Ilera lang natin tong mga fact, uh, sorry, zeros natin. So you have negative 5, negative 1. 1 and then 5. And then we will place a line. Sorry. Okay. And then we're going to write the factors over on this side. So the factors are factors are x plus 5 x minus 5, x plus 1, and x minus 1. And then you can put the function over on this line y, sorry. We have y equals the product of everything, x plus 5. I hope this will fit x, sorry, it will not fit. It's just, right, it's smaller. So we have y equals x plus 5, x minus 5, x plus 1, and then x minus 1. Now, we're now ready to um, put the signs on our table of signs. Okay. Normally, you're going to test values. Tama? Mas mababa sa negative 5, you can try negative 100. Mas ma between negative 5 and negative 1, you can try negative 3, perhaps. Negative 1 and 1, you can try 0. Between 1 and 5, you can try 3 or 2. 5, you can try 1 million or 1,000. But, kung ayaw nyo na mag-substitute nan, okay, I'm going to teach a technique on how we're going to fill in the table of signs mas madali. All you have to do is to think of um, the number that will make this zero. Ah, yung first consideration pala kailangan, ang form niya ganito lang lagi ha. X minus R yung form. Kailangan X minus R yung form ng mga factors mo. Kasi magbabago yung ating technique kapag ang form niya ay R minus X. So, for instance, this one, X minus 5. Iba yung signs na mangyayari kapag ang given ay 5 minus x. Babaliktad. Okay, now. My former teacher ang tawag niya dito fishball method. But mukha kasi siyang fish, fishball yung technique. But anyway. Sige, let's start. So, ang gawin natin, think of the number that will make this negative. Ah, sorry. But that will make this 0. Obviously, it's negative 5. Pag snap mo, it's negative 5. And just put a marking over here. Kaya nga fishball. Parang bilog na lang. X minus 5, but we'll make this 0. So, yeah, we have plus 5. 
x plus 1, what will make this 0? We have negative 1. And x minus 1, what will make this 0? We have positive 1. Now, you will always start with negative. Kapag lang ganito. Pero kapag hindi ganito yung sign, just like this one, x minus 5, you will start with a positive. But this time, since x minus are lahat ng forms nito, so you will start with a negative. So we'll start with a negative. And then kapag nahabangga mo na tong fishbowl na to, you will change sign. So you have negative, so there's we have this marking, so we'll get plus, plus, plus na lahat yan. To check, for instance, you substitute 0, 0 plus 5, it's positive. 3 plus 5, it's still positive. 1,000 times 5, it's positive. Now, for x minus 5, you have minus, 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 and this marking, so we'll have plus. Minus, minus of, this, we, have, we have this marking, so we have plus, 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 and then minus, 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 so we have this, and then change the signs. And then, you just count. How many negatives are there? Kung even, it's plus. Kung, neg kung add yung number ng signs, it's minus. So we have four negative signs, so we will have plus here. This one, you have three negative signs, so negative. Dalawa, so positive. Isa lang, so negative. And then lahat, positive. So, relative to the x-axis, your graph is above. On this side, on this side, it's below, above, below, and above. Okay, let's sketch the graph of the function. I think we can sketch the graph over here. So let me have a straight line first. I think this will work. This one. Okay, this is your y-axis, this is your x-axis. Okay, let's plot the zeros starting with negative 5. It's negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6. So this is negative 5. We also have negative 1. And then we have... Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we also have at 1 and at 5. Negative 1. Okay. Let's plug in. If we plug in, let's plot. So we have dito sa negative 5. We also have at negative 1. We have so at 1 and then at, at 5. 1, uh, so negative 5 to negative infinity, it's above. So, above. So, let's have a rough sketch of something that's above. So, polynomial function, yeah. And so, we can have... Ah, uh, sorry. We can have this, perhaps. Okay, just put an arrow indicating that it, it goes up forever. And then, um, between negative 1 and negative 5, it's below. Again, for grade 10, hindi naman required kung gaano ka layo ang uh, mababayan mo. Just go up again at negative 1. And then between negative 1 and 1, it's above. So you can have this. And then, again, you can go as uh, ganito ka taas kung gusto nyo. But for, for now, okay na yan. And then from uh, five, 1 to 5, it's below below and then it will go up again to negative 5 and then it goes to plus infinity because it's above beyond 1 and uh, there you go this is the graph of your uh, function y